Okay. So let's start with the VAC modules first. When I go and click on the VAC modules, VAC modules is a uh, connecting module for all other activities. Like I have manpower uh, uh, division where I'm giving manpower and making invoices. I have equipment rental, I'm giving invoices. And uh, I have different activities like trading and I'm uh, giving the, selling the materials. I have camp, I have uh, rental solutions or uh, many things, projects. So all these things, at the end, you will prepare invoices. All the activities, at the end, you are going to prepare invoices, we will have POs for it. So all these things will come to back modules first. And it will, from the back module, it will link to the finance. So there is a, this is an intermediate module. Every activity who generates invoice, it will be coming to that. And then from that, I am going to record it in my book of accounts. Okay. So if I see here, the VAT modules are arranged in such a way that your sales invoice, credit notes, purchase register and debit note register. This is the four important register you have to maintain. Sales invoices, which I did whatever all the revenue I am generating. Purchases of whatever expenses or purchase of material, cost of goods sold, everything will come from here. And uh, credit notes, any invoices I raised and I want to cancel it out or I want to take off some amount from their uh, directions, anything, I can keep it in the credit note. Debit note is the reversal of credit note. I buy some material from supplier and I return some material to them. So I need to pass a debit note to them. I am not paying you this much money, something like that. That is the reversal of credit note. Now, this is the four important registers are there in the VAT modules and uh, VAT return filing form will also be here. And uh, if you see here, there is a sales reporting, performance invoice and other additional modules will come in. And uh, if you see, the VAT output VAT will be here and input VAT is here. If I want to open any of this uh, register, I can simply click on it and it will open up the register for me. In this register, if you see, I have um, from 1st of February, to 29th of February, how many invoices I made, what is the uh, data about it, like 17 invoices I made, the total revenue of turnover of uh, 976,000 is there. So if you see here, this is the uh, like a list of all my invoices which is raised in this time period will be shown in here. It looks like an Excel sheet. So people are very comfortable using Microsoft Excel products. So it is and especially in a data database or data formats. It is represented in a database or uh, in, a, in an Excel file or uh, columns and rows. It will be much easier to understand also. So if I have, like I have 29 to 30, 45 invoices I have made already. It is already listed in here. All the invoices are listed like this. And if I want to create a new invoice or anything, I can go and click on add new invoices. This screen pattern is throughout the system will be followed. Let's say. Uh, I want to change the time period. I can go and change the time period. I want to change it to, let's say, I want to change it to January 1 until date. I want to show the records. It will show me the all the invoices I have raised in this time period. It will be shown. And from starting from 20.001, this is the invoice number sequence, and it goes all, all the way to the last invoice, 45 invoices. And if I see here, the information of this invoices, this shows like invoice number, date, effective date, account head and all these things. These are all called columns and these are all rows. So same the concept of Excel is there. Okay? If I want to open any of these invoices, I can just simply right click of any of the line item and I can see what are all the functions I can do with that particular file. Let's say I want 37 invoice, I just right click on it. I can edit that invoice, delete the invoice, unlock, duplicate, like this. Mm. It, uh, the functionality, what I can do for that particular invoice can be done. If I open that invoice, it can just simply edit the invoice. It will open up the invoice for me. Here, the tabs are there. This has multiple tabs are there. where it contains multiple information about that invoice. This is the invoice number, client name, client name in Arabic, invoice date, supply date, white type and uh, POs and all these things is there and what is the items we have uh, entered in there it will show in the list of items and other details you have and uh, deductions and currencies we are going to see all these things one by one in uh, later time and like this you the 
content, additional details will be available in the tabs. So you will find anything, any any uh, fields you need, you will find somewhere from here. Let's uh, if I want to open close this one, I can see I can close this one. That file will be closed, and I can see other invoices like this. I can open and see the invoices like this. Let's create one invoice, and then we will see how this reflects in the. I'm going, if I want to add a new invoice, what I will do? I'll just simply go and click on Add Back Invoice. When I click on Add New Invoice, it gives me the 45, 45 invoices where they, the next number will be automatically chosen for me. So the invoice number will not be allowed to edit. They will not allow us to edit, so it will be locked for you to edit it. And the client name, I can choose the list of all my clients is available here. So these are all my clients I added through my ledger books. If I create an uh, account, accounting ledger for one client, it will be listed out here. If I don't have that list available here, I can add it by just clicking on this plus button. If I click on this plus button, it will open up the account ledger creation for them. So it's the same thing with the GF general ledger. So account head name, we will say, uh, we can say any company name. Mm. Basad Infos. Uh, let's say Basad Company uh, something like that. So Basad Company Limited, I, I made one company name and I can come here and type the uh, company name or I can use this tool to translate the Arabic part of the uh, Basad Company Limited. It is saying Sharika, Basa, Madhuda, something like that. So this is the company name I put. This is the account head name. <coughs> account head name is something like, let's say I have one company called Sabik. Sabik Jubail I have. Sabik Yandu I have. So I have two different ledgers for them. I have two different uh, transactions I'm making it. They are not interconnected. They are saying, if I won't make any invoices, give me separately to me and give me the separate statement for me. So in that case, I will be keeping Basat Juvel separately, Basat Jeddah separately. So I have lab two different ledger books for that. By location. Yeah, by location. So when we I, are yeah. that masking mm -hmm. Masking, we need to deliver to Jeddah, we have now maybe three invoices. Yeah. But our company is same. Same, so yes. Same, same. Yes. yes. So we can say Basat Company Limited, I, I have to make. Uh, Baskins, I can say this company in uh, Jeddah. I can have one so lecture. So, we need to create three, three. Baskin Riyadh, Baskin Jeddah, Baskin Jeddah. You can only one pair No, no. For example, I have this company called, uh, is in uh, Jubail. Okay, I can keep this one. This is the company ledger name I am creating, and the, but the company name might be different. Means I don't want to keep Jubail and all because there is only one address there. I can have to remove this one when I'm making the invoice. The billing name will be this, and I will say this is from uh, Jeddah Industrial City, and I will say something like that, and I will translate that one. This is the address for them, or we can have a common address or the head office address. You can also have the VAT number will be the same for all of the divisions, and. Billing contact person, contact number, everything for that particular uh, division, Jubail division. I am keeping one book for them. So like this, you can keep it. And uh, one more important thing is the uh, bank account for receiving payment. When I am preparing the invoice, I want to specify the bank account details at the end of my invoice. So which bank account? I have around nine bank accounts here. So which bank account I want to use it? I can say I want to use Riyadh bank account. So whenever I want to receive money, uh, they will also have Riyadh bank account, so mm. it will be much easier for me to mm. receive the money. Mm. So once I save this, Basad Company Limited for Jubail run, we have this. Mm. Okay. And invoice date, invoice date is the date of uh, preparation of the invoice, and supply date maybe uh, day before or something like that. I can have and uh, PO date and PO sales order number. This will be coming automatically from the other modules. Mm. Suppose I have a sales order from. Uh, this uh, trading, I already have a sales order and I deliver the material, then I can take that information directly here. 
for this is a first company i am just making the invoice directly mm. i don't have any orders mm. given for basat so it's not showing here so i'm going to add manually i can say uh, basat maybe pure pure number i can say this is the pure number and uh, which project or contract number anything you want to add you can add it and uh, here i have this list of items this is the master data and this is the child data let's say how many items for this invoice is there i can add it by clicking on add new item so when i click on it the item number 1 comes in there here i can just come here and choose what item i'm going to supply let's say thermal room 18 to 70 when i choose it this opens up the the information about that item it will be listed out here the unit price unit uh, method is in, uh, unit of issue is the rolls so unit bill and uh, quantity price this units to bill concept is for the service oriented businesses like hourly rate you charge or uh, something like that so that one for uh, quantity billing you will just put the quantity one let's say thermal rolls i have like uh, 500 thermal rolls being issued to the client okay and uh, unit rate unit price comes from the selling price i added already so it comes from there you can also set up those things in the system so whenever i choose for real will come to you if i want so to change for us, yeah it can be changed so say for example for this client i want to make it 5 real i will just change it directly it will be reflected okay we will be seeing the concept of delivery in uh, delivery note and the po and all that the amount will come from there automatically no, because we agree with the in the order sales order we agreed for 5 real so the invoice will also be it will come here you don't need to worry about it. here manually i'm just adding it and showing and here the discount part will also be there if i want to give a discount i can also use percentage of discount say if i want to give 5% discount i can click on it 125 real Be considered as discount. If I don't want, I can take off the discount also, and uh, it will show you the total amount and the VAT description, VAT, and the total with VAT. So this is the total amount as it. I I can just simply update this, and I can go to print, preview the invoice. When I click on preview the invoice, there is three four formats are there. One is uh, this format where it has the Uh, batch invoice and the barcode and all these things are there. This is the format we have, and this is for service-oriented business. If you have one or two line items, it will show you one rows of five um, hundred quantity, five unit, five uh, real, and two thousand five hundred, and total amount will be there, and it gives you all the things in Arabic and English. This is for service-oriented business. We are using the units, unit to build in the top. you can also use one more format the format number 2 we want to print the invoice you can have uh, four formats are there format number 2 format number 2 will be giving you uh, for trading type of things you have lot of line items you will have many line items you can have this one so you will have uh, 15 20 it will be trying to compress it most of the things are uh, all are available but only the point is to Accommodate more line items. This is the format of this. Really the other, I'd say, uh, English model actually. No? Uh, actually, this invoice must be Arabic document. So Arabic documents flows from right to left. So uh, yeah, uh, invoice is an Arabic document. Yeah, can can we make it to right? This is very very clients there simply. So we'll see the invoice. This is two formats, and we have another format for dot matrix printing also, and uh, there is one for foreign currency. That later on we'll see. Dot matrix, you have the skeletal uh, form, and you can print it in a dot matrix print out. Form. So in this invoice, yeah, in this invoice you can see uh, the signatory parts. Let's when you go to the signatory part, you can see I want to make the invoice in letterhead. I can click this option, open it up, and then try to print the invoice. It will be available in uh, your head okay. head. The one you have scanned it, yeah. The one we have scanned it will be available here, yeah. and you can set up the uh, pay pay setup and all these things as per your requirement. You can set it up, and we already set up your yesterday we set up your. Uh, But number of. Uh, so now. The the letterhead comes from there. You might have different uh, number of letterheads are there. You have branch and division. Here I can use different. Uh, 
trading company or company limited if i select that particular uh, company limited and i can try to open the invoice it will give me a letterhead in a different format okay. uh, something like that but i don't have scanned in there it will be giving you in that plain also yeah, yeah plain also because it's not available that's why it shows there mm -hmm. and uh, if i go this one uh, i'll just post it and i can also uh, set up the prepared by check by approved by the options maybe like i, I want to say uh, the one who is going to sign it mm -hmm. i can put it on and show signature mm -hmm. or also i can show the company seal mm -hmm. if i go 